When using one CNC, you have the very versatile ability to be able to insert custom CNC code anytime that you'd like. It's very simple to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, head over here to the main toolbar and select your stock tool pass. There you're going to find an option called custom code. I'm going to left click on that, and here is the dialog box. This is where you can create new custom code and also select custom code. All right, now I suggest that because you're probably going to be using this a lot, I would put this command on your quick access toolbar so you can easily get to it anytime that you'd like. So I'm going to just right hand mouse click on that. All right, so let's create our very first custom code. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click new and let's make code for program stop. So program stop, that looks great. And let's just type in an M0 for that. We're going to click OK. While we're at it, let's make one more optional stop. And let's put in the CNC code for that. That's going to be an M1, so we'll click OK. Now that that's finished, I'm going to close that down. And now I want to show you how to actually use the custom code. In this example, you can see we have a part that's mounted to a tooling plate. I've used two different mill profiles. And the reason why I'm using two is because I'm using one tool for the rough pass and another tool for the finish pass. Well, after we machine this, we figured out that after the rough pass, because we're cutting this out of a big rectangular piece of stock, there's a big slug right here. So what I want to do is I want to insert a program stop right after this very first profile operation so the operator can move that slug away, then press restart and have the machine finish profile. All right, so let's insert our program stop. We'll head up here, add custom code. We're going to select program stop and you're going to want to make sure you double click that so you can see the actual code there. Then click insert. That's going to place it at the very end of the program. I'm going to just take my cursor, hold the left mouse button down and just move it right there. And there we go. So if we were to post process this, I'm just using the default post processor. Let's click save on that. That looks great. And if you look down here, there you go. There's your custom code. There's your program stop. Very fast and easy to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.